whether you teach uh weather <laughs> whether you teach a full unit on weather or you just want to trickle in vocabulary throughout the year for your students here are some weather vocabulary related activities you can use in your spanish classroom let's jump right in My name is Ashley, aka Senorita Spanish, and welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome! If you haven't yet, make sure you click that subscribe button and ring that bell so you get notified of all new content that I create for you in the future. I used to teach a like full-on unit on the weather, and then I started doing this, and I kind of just stopped because I didn't have to anymore. So the most important or weather-related activity that I do in my Spanish classroom is my start of class routine, and I have a full video detailing the start of class routine that I will link for you here. But basically what I do with my students is we start with kind of a like social emotional check-in where I just ask, you know, hey, how are you doing? How was your day? And then we talk about what day it is, what the date is, what they have going on in their lives. And then we finish it off with what's the weather like today? And it starts off very simple, right? Is it a good, like, is it nice weather? Is it yucky weather out? And then we kind of progress into some options describing what's actually happening outside until we build into them, you know, basically giving me a weather report every single day. It's really simple. It The routine itself, like the entire routine takes probably between 10 to 15 minutes a day, depending on how much they want to share during that check-in part. The weather part is like three minutes or less, but because we do it every single day, they get so good at talking about the weather that, like I said, it basically replaced my entire weather unit. If you want to learn more about that routine, I will add a link to the blog post in the description of this video for you. The next weather related activity I have for you is a maze game or un laberinto is what I call them with my students. I have a blog post on 10 different ways you can use maze games in your classes, but I personally really like to use them as fast finishers or as a quick warm up kind of check thing. So what they do for the weather related one, they look at a small symbol and then they choose the correct word or phrase in Spanish that matches the symbol. And they keep doing that until they get all the way through the maze and they get out. And you can do this in pairs, you can do this in small groups, you can do this as a timed race, you can do this as homework, you can do this as a warm up, you can do this as quiz, you can project it on a screen behind you and do it as an entire class and just kind of talk through it. Like I said, I have a blog post on 10 different ways you can use maze activities in your classroom. I will link that for you in the description of this video. But maze games. Another weather related activity you could do with your students is just to include weather related vocabulary in your classroom stories. And if you checked out my blog at all, you've probably seen or heard that I really like to use stories with my students. So I wanted to share two ways you can do weather vocab through your classroom stories. So option one would just to be including the weather as just part of your story. So if you're thinking about setting up a story, you include the weather as part of the setting, right? So you're saying, you know, um, it was you know, three in the afternoon and it was a beautiful sunny day and they were going outside to Right, whatever the rest of your story is, but you're just including this little piece that it was a sunny afternoon or it was terribly thundery, rainy, stormy, yuck, you know, whatever it is, you can just include that tiny little detail at the beginning of each of your different stories just to kind of work it in there. Option number two for using weather in your classroom stories is to make it the focus of the story, is to be talking about weather. So I have a story that I've done with my classes for quite a while now where the weather related vocabulary makes up a large chunk of the story and so as we're telling it as we're circling it they're getting a lot of input and a lot of practice with those words and phrases if you're not familiar with circling i have a blog post on it i will link it for you in the description of this video okay weather activity number four i don't know i lost count movie talk i love movie talks they were kind of i call them like my gateway to ci kind of activity I think they're awesome because you don't have to come up with a story. The story is already there for you in the cute short little video or longer movie that you have chosen to use. I do have a longer YouTube video really digging into movie talk, how I use it, how I got started, and I will link that for you here so you can go check it out. But the basic premise of a movie talk is that you find a short video or clips and then you narrate that video in comprehensible language for your students. 
So when we're talking about a weather movie talk, I actually have a free movie talk resource for you that is perfect for weather. It was the very first movie talk I have ever done, so I, I'm like a little bit emotionally attached to it. <laughs> I'll link it for you in the description of this video so you can grab it and try it. But the basic gist of that story is that it's about a snowman who just really wants to go to the beach. So you can kind of see how some weather vocabulary would be related to that, right? The snowman, obviously, is somewhere that is cold, and he wants to go somewhere that is nice and warm and sunny beautiful weather right so lots of things you can talk about with that again that's a free resource available for you you can grab that I'll link it in the description of this video for you my last weather related activity for you would be to do a corre en circulos and if you're like Ashley what what is that <laughs> oh my friend welcome Welcome to like my favorite activity of all time. I will link the video where I explain what Correa and Circulos is and how to do it, how to set it up, how to use it in your classroom right here for you to get started. And then you're just gonna kind of get sucked in because once you learn how to do it, then you're gonna wanna check out the variations and the different ways you could do it with your students in pairs, in small groups, individually, all of the different things as a walking puzzle, as a digital puzzle, as a handmade puzzle, as a racing the clock puzzle, as a scavenger hunt. Oh my goodness, it is a wonderful activity. <laughs> But Corre and Circulus is a great activity you can do for practicing weather-related vocabulary. I actually have a free Corre and Circulus set that you can download that is practicing weather vocabulary. I will link that for you in the description of this video as well. The basic way to play Corre is to print it up, hang it on the walls of your classroom, and students go from piece of paper to piece of paper to complete a scavenger hunt style activity that eventually leads them back to the beginning. Un circolo, vale? Okay, so that one is really fun and your students will love it. That is all of the weather related activities that I have for you right now. I will put links in the description to all of the blog posts that I mentioned, all of the resources that I mentioned, all organized in one neat weather related blog post just for you. I hope that this video has been helpful for you. If it has, make sure you give it a thumbs up so YouTube knows you like it. Then click subscribe and ring that bell so you get notified of all new content I create for you in the future. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.